Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top fresh perfumes for summer. Now you guys know I'm doing a summer series. Probably just going to create a playlist because honestly summer perfumes are some of my favorite. I had started collecting gourmands towards the beginning of this like kind of fragrance journey and I have decluttered a lot of gourmands because gourmand is something that I enjoy but only for a small period of time and living in Florida I really love fruity florals and fresh scents and like tropical scents. So I did split my video up and this is my fresh scents. Now since I have so many in this category I kind of tried to group them in like fruity florals. These uh, that are fruity florals didn't make it into my fruity florals except one because they're more fresh and then i have like citruses aquatic and then kind of like my dry clean i don't know what category <laughs> sense to put them in but it's quite a large list i'm not gonna limit myself because if it's in my collection i love it i'm getting better about passing on perfumes that i don't love anymore i don't reach for or i have too much of the same so my lists are going to change every year and then there's going to be repeat offenders. So just know that this is more of a hobby and I will be rotating perfumes in and out. So these are my top freshies for 2021. So let's go ahead and get into it. Again, I'm not gonna go over notes. I'm just gonna go over categories. But first I'm gonna mention this one because honestly, I don't know why this perfume made it into my fruity florals. Because for me, this perfume isn't really overly fruity. But that is... Delina's La Rose. This to me is more fresh. This is more aquatic, but they do categorize it as like tropical and fruity. So this is in my fruity floral categories, but they're definitely more fresh. This doesn't come filled to the top, by the way, but I, I did already put even more of a dent. I do have to spray heavy with this scent, but it, it's more of a fresh aquatic take on Delina. And I, and I do enjoy it. I don't regret buying it, but for the price, there are other perfumes out there that fall in this family. Kind of like Philosophy, I think it's Ballet Rose. I have a video where I discuss this and, and kind of compare it. So there are cheaper alternatives. So this is one that I probably wouldn't add back into my collection, but I am happy to have it because it has the Delina. DNA. Okay, and then another one that falls in that same kind of fresh, aquatic, but fruity category is Versace's Bright Crystal. This is more, where that one has more of the lychee, this is more yuzu, but it still falls in that fragrance family. Yeah, it's got like aquatic notes, kind of a watery feel, fresh and clean. These are just a little bit more pink. Like when I think of these scents, I think more girly pink. You guys can wear whatever you want, but there are scents that to my nose lean more one or the other. But hey, if you want to rock it, rock it. <laughs> but this is another kind of fresh, pink, fruity floral. Again, it's more aquatic than fruity. Okay, and then this one, I'm really looking forward to this one in summer. <sighs> yeah, so this one is Chloe Nomad the, or the Toilette. And I think this one features lychee in it. Something about this one is more dry. I guess that's what it is too. When I think of my fruity florals that I have in the video, those are a little bit more juicy, like fruit juicy. The fruits that are in these perfumes, they just come off a little bit more crisp and dry and fresh. So that's why they made it into this one. And then this one's got like an earthiness, but very soft. It's not as strong like in the Eau de Parfum, which is definitely more, that one's more of a juicy fruity floral. This one again, is a little bit more dry, refreshing, sparkly, and kind of champagne. And then another one in this category is Flower Bomb Midnight. Now this is, Probably to more people, more of a fruity floral, but I, I don't know, like sometimes black currant can come off very clean and fresh. Yeah, 
This one's very clean and fresh. This one replaced my Si Passione. Now, they don't smell the same, but they have that same kind of fresh, kind of clean. Yeah. I would say Si Passione is a little bit more shampoo-y and something about it comes off a little more powdery. This one's a little more fresh and fruity, but not juicy again. Hey guys, Editing Becky here. You're gonna see me pop in in this video and one of my other videos because I missed a couple, but they to me they needed to go in here because since this was a requested video, I wanted to give you guys my full list. So another fruity, floral, fresh perfume that I forgot to put in here, but I kind of mentioned I was gonna put it in here, but that is Lancome's Edol. And I wanted to put this in my fresh under the fruity floral category because this has, yeah, a freshness, a shampooiness. This is clean and it needed to go in this video in case you were looking for a fresh fruity floral because this one is definitely fresh. So I did want to go ahead and pop this one in here and I'll see you guys again further down the road. <laughs> okay, another one is Chanel Chance Ovive. And I would say out of the whole entire line, this one's my favorite. The fruit in here, I think there's blood orange, citruses. It's fresh, zesty, and the citrus in here isn't like overly sharp. This is going to be more for someone who wants to smell clean and not necessarily like to have perfume on. This is going to sit closer to the skin even though I would say out of the ones I have, this one projects a little bit more. I think it's like the zestiness in the in the beginning. Kind of like the name Ovive, this one's a little bit more livelier than the, the other ones that I have. I have all of the Eau de Toilettes, I should say. I don't have Autange, the Eau de Parfum, or Chance, the Eau de Parfum. So yeah, this is nice on those days when I don't, I wanna smell clean and fresh, but not overly Perfumey. So another Chanel Chance, but it doesn't fall in that category. So I guess I'll start my next category. This is more of a clean, like fresh scent. These are a little bit more, I would say citrus maybe, but this is Chanel Chance Au Fresh. And this one, the jasmine in here, is kind of that indolic jasmine. A lot of time jasmine comes off more clean on my skin. That's probably why I wouldn't repurchase this one. On me, this is fresh, but the florals in here, I'm not too crazy about, but this is kind of like your Irish spring kind of fresh scent. It's, I think this citron in here that changes up that kind of lemon. It's a little bit more sharp and fresh kind of clean, out of the shower. Again, like Irish Spring soap. This is another one that sits closer to the skin. So it's not going to be cloying or annoying or bothersome. You're gonna, you're gonna smell fresh and clean with this one. If you guys saw my summer perfume video last year, you know that Versace to me makes the best fresh summertime scents. So we'll go ahead and start with Versace. Since this one is often compared to Eau Fresh. Let me just put them side by side. So these two are compared a lot, but to my nose, this one smells better, projects, performs, and the jasmine in here, I don't, I don't know if there's jasmine in here, but this definitely is more clean to my nose. Oh yeah, yeah. I would repurchase this one. This has citruses, this has bergamot, uh, I think there's lemon in here, there's fig, but it's so beautifully blended that this just opens up kind of citrusy, but light, not sharp. And then the white florals come in, but it's more clean and soapy. This is definitely, to my nose, more of a unisex scent. Like, this is a clean, classy scent. I always say that this smells like a man fresh out of the shower. So Dennis really enjoys Irish Spring. So that could be the reason why. But this smells like his skin after he's showered in Irish Spring. 
This is your partner's white button down shirt and you're smelling them. That's what this smells like to me. And again, this one's more clean and soapy, but not like shampoo-y. So yeah, I prefer this one over Eau Fresh. This one's a little more floral. I don't get the florals as much in this one. I know some people do, and that's why for some people this doesn't smell unisex. For me, this is, this is like, to me, the most cleanest scent that I have in my collection, in my opinion. Okay, and then this next one, I, this one would have fallen in my aquatic cat category, but since I'm talking about Versace, this is Versace's Dylan Blue. And this is just, you guys know, day on the boat. If you see my videos, you know that this is a day on the boat for me. But this is more of your crisp green apple. It opens up fruity at the top, but then it gets dry, fresh, and clean in the dry down. The musk comes in, the woods, the woods come in, and then this does kind of lose that shampooiness that people talk about and to me it gets more aquatic even though they don't list it more crisp green apple more dry if you guys enjoyed donna karen new york be delicious you know back in the day i think you would like this one this is a more modern take on it it's not overly green apple but it's crisp and kind of kind of like it I told you I was going to be back. So another scent that I can't believe I missed that definitely belongs in this citrus category. And by citrus, I mean lemon. So we're going to kick it off with this one because I keep saying citrus, but throughout the video, there's lime, there's lemon. This is definitely more of a lemon heavy citrus. And that is Alien Also Bling. And the best way to describe this, I mean, I know a lot of people have either have had or tested out alien but this is alien with a prominent citrus note this is i don't know if there's jasmine in here but it's that famous jasmine even if they don't list it oh no this has more notes so this has lemon solar notes orange mandarin so this has several citruses but i don't really get like orange or mandarin orange i get lemon there is something kind of warm about this which is probably the solar notes and then there's galbenum but yeah there's jasmine tier flower i don't really get tier flower orange blossom amber so this one they, they do list more notes but to me this is alien with a very large dose of lemon and very refreshing for the summer heat now this is one that whenever I wear it, Dennis knows I'm wearing an alien. That's how much it smells like it. Like when I wear this one or Fusion, he's always been able to point it out. So again, that's Alien Also Bleem. And this one goes in my lemon kind of citrus category. The bottle's super pretty. But let's go ahead and get back into the list. And then I'm going to talk about these next two hand in hand. This is like my citrusy. But that is Versace's yellow diamond the eau de toilette and versace's eros pour femme and you guys know i decluttered this i did end up putting it back in my collection because these two vibe similar but i would say that this falls in between eros pour femme de eau de parfum and eros pour femme de eau de toilette like this falls in, in the middle so i might one day get the eau de toilette back in my collection and then let go of this one but I wasn't ready because this still gave me a little bit more. Yeah. This one's just not as fruity as the Eau de Toilette. But it's a little bit more citrus, softer, and floral. Whereas this one, I would say the citrus is a little bit more... Yeah, this one's a little bit more zesty at the top. Even though they don't list pepper, there's something peppery about this one. But it's zesty fresh citrus and then it has like a woodsy dry down whereas this one is citrusy floral and a little bit more powdery musky dry down i believe there's musk in that one too but that that one has more of a woodsy base to me this one's more powdery 
this one made its way back into my collection because they're I love citruses for summer. Uh, I just like different kind of citrus scents. So another citrus scent is Dolce & Cabana's Light Blue Sun, and this is the Eau de Toilette. And this is light blue. This has quite a few notes, and I'll try and pop in notes. But to my nose, this is light light blue. What added coconut water. And it's got kind of like a beachy, suntanny vibe, but very soft, which I believe is the frangipani that's in here. But that's what this is. This is light blue, the complete DNA of it with an added coconut, like nectar, and frangipani. Again, there's way more notes, but that's what my nose picks up from this scent. So this is another one that would fall kind of in that citrus. It does have that citrus opening from light blue but it's not as sharp because of the other notes it kind of softens it but it's still a very citrus heavy scent and here's the bottle i got that one because i knew i wanted a dolce gabbana light blue in my collection i don't know how long that one will stay because i want to try the new one the forever dolce gabbana light blue isn't like one that i would want to have multiples of in my collection it's not a favorite of mine I know it's like kind of iconic it's kind of one of those scents that became very popular and I kind of want to have one in my collection but I wouldn't want to have multiples of it it's not one of my favorites like some of my other perfumes okay so another kind of zesty but this one isn't citrus this one is more about the ginger that is Twilly de Elmez this one has a freshness as well but it's got a zestiness from the ginger. <sighs> yeah. This opens up zesty. Um, I don't know if there's pink pepper, but there's definitely something that tickles my nose. I believe there's like bitter orange, maybe that's it, and ginger. And then as this dries down, you get the florals. Like it's got tuberose and another white floral and jasmine. But for me, it's clean jasmine. I don't want to get tuberose too much in here. Like I don't get anything overly heady or buttery or like bubblegummy. This is to me about the clean jasmine because some white florals can come off in Dalek and this one does not. So this opens up zesty, kind of spicy, like warm spicy. And then it becomes clean, kind of soapy and powdery on my skin. And this is a year-round scent, but we about to start brunching soon. And you guys know this is my brunch, br my brunch time scent. I've always said that. If you catch my old reviews, I've always, I've always said it. It's Twilly de Elmez, and that kind of again went in my zesty category. So the next three I'm going to talk about are a little bit more aquatic. They're more of my aquatic, fresh scents. So let's start with Mac Turquatic like the name would imply this one does have something citrusy at the top i don't know if it's all malfi lemon but there's definitely like a citrus at the top of this scent but then as it dries down it does get more aquatic and i don't know the best way to describe aquatic except that most aquatic scents have some kind of blue it feels blue <laughs> so this is like a very blue scent think of like cool water like those kinds of scents that's what this falls under so the difference between these is even though they open up citrus these that tend to be in more yellow bottles they tend to be more lemon heavy this one opens up citrus but then again in the dry down there's just something about them that is kind of aquatic watery and I do believe there is also watery notes in this one but yeah this falls under my aquatic kind of fresh scents these next three this next one is another one again it opens up lemon and mint but then it just dries down to a kind of aquatic blue green kind of scent oh, yeah. 
this one is by far my favorite of the three I'm going to talk about. This one is Aqua de Joya by Giorgio Armani. And this one opens up again citrus and minty. And I do believe that there's mint in the, in the top of this one. And then as it dries down, it gets more aquatic, watery. But don't think watered down. Think aquatic. <laughs> and fresh. I want to say that this does settle to a little bit of a woodsy base. This one might be a little bit more floral. And the next one I'm going to talk about, it's more marine, more salty. But they all give me that like aquatic vibe and they're not overly lemon. Whereas like the Versace's Yellow Diamond and Porfem, those are more citrus like lemon. I feel like companies tend to do that. Like they tend to do the juice. Like this one does have something about it. It's a little bit more lime. This one has something, again, it's a little bit more lemon. So the next one in this category is All de Melvella's Blue by El Mes. And I am pronouncing that in Spanish because I can't pronounce it in French. I've practiced and I just, I can't do it. <laughs> so this one, it's more fresh, aquatic, not citrus. This one's a little bit dusty, which will lead me into like my next category. Like it's a dryness, but comes off a little dusty. And then it's got a saltiness, but very subtle. Like this isn't overly salty but it's got like that kind of beachy salt air to it and this one's a little more marine aquatic is more cool fresh citrusy this is more marine salty air but there is something about it that's aquatic it's just leans more marine i would say than aquatic and this one I've said reminds me of my grandfather, which is a reason why I probably would keep this one in my collection. And then this next category, I'm going to move things around because I'm trying to like get this to flow. So I was going to mention one that has kind of a dustiness to it. But before I talk about that one, I'm going to talk about another one that it's that beach air. It's fresh with that fresh, salty beach air. And that is Olympia by Paco Proban. And this one's just unique. I couldn't put this in a category because I don't have a lot of perfumes like this one. But this got a sweetness to it. This is got that saltiness from like, I think it's ambergris that's in this one. But it's got kind of like the Hermes. It's got that kind of salty beach air. But this one I would say is a little bit more brighter. That is more marine this one has a brightness to it this reminds me of like the sun setting and it's more of a vibe i don't have anything like this in my collection like i can't smell this and pick up notes for me when i smell this it's just the sun going down i'm smelling the sea breeze and there's just the littlest slight bit of sweetness to it it's not overly sweet so these next three, I would say, are more of my fresh, dry kind of scents. At least one in particular, it can dry out my sinuses. So we'll start with that one. But that is Floral Botanica by Balenciaga. So this perfume to me is, it's a fresh, dry floral. Yeah. And I've never smelled cannabis plant. I know I sound like a broken record, but I don't smell this and, and think of like sparking up a joint. It's more plant-like, but it's dry. It's a floral scent. It's fresh. There's nothing juicy about this, but this is another one that can come off dusty to some people. Like sometimes I get that. But in the summer, it's more dry. But when I was wearing it in cooler weather, it did have like a dusty kind of quality about it. But this, I wouldn't even say is refreshing. It's just fresh. This is a fresh, dry floral. 
It's actually one I prefer more in um, spring, but sometimes I kind of just want to smell like fresh and kind of clean. So I will pop this one in, in summertime. And I did recently get the bigger bottle. I used to have the smaller one. All right, this next one isn't necessarily dry, but the, it's one that falls in this category because it isn't fruity, it isn't citrusy, it's just fresh and then something else. And that is Byredo's Balda Freak. And for me, this is a fresh, clean vetiver scent. This is another one that has like, I think it's bergamot, lemon, so there is something bright. This doesn't open up citrus to me, it just opens up bright, but then it dries down to a fresh, crisp, clean vetiver scent. Kind of woodsy, very unisex. This is what I would say uh, classy but casual. Like, don't think classy like Coco Mademoiselle. Think of classy like a nice, crisp, clean white shirt with jeans classy but casual kind of scent this is another one that would be nice for instead of brunch with the ladies this is like brunch with dennis it's clean it's it's crisp i'm i'm, I'm more casual when i'm wearing this all right and then this last one is unique but it was a love at first sniff and that is Roses on Ice by Killian. And I would say this is more like a gin and tonic. It's more refreshing, but it's not a citrus, it's not aquatic. You get the juniper in here, the cucumber, but don't think cucumber melon. Like This isn't juicy, this is like cucumber. Very fresh and clean for summer. But yeah. This is definitely a freshie for summertime. So I know this was a little different because usually I go over my notes, but I kind of wanted to group them and talk about them this way because a lot of them are the same and notes don't always matter to me. So I kind of just wanted to tell you what I was getting. And I would just say that the first few that I talked about, those are more of like my fresh fruity florals. Then we have like my zesty ones, my citrus, aquatic and then kind of more of like my dry if that makes any sense but those are my uh top summer perfumes for 2021 and that's how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be doing perfumes that i'm looking forward to revisiting perfumes that i am they're they're my top for 2021 but i reserve the right to change my mind <laughs> so they might not make it next year these are my tops this year these are the ones that i'm already reaching for i'm already looking forward to reaching for them i don't need to revisit them these are loves of mine they might not they might not stay there is no guarantee that any of my perfumes will stay because if something comes into my collection that i love that vibes then the other one gets knocked out that's kind of what happened with this one and Si Pasione. So this is my top summer perfumes for 2021. Let me know in the comments what are some of your top perfumes for 2021. But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.